You smell good to God. Are you ready for some good news? When the Babylonian tyrant threw Daniel's friends into the fiery furnace, they not only emerged unharmed, but the text says they didn't even smell of smoke. I once had an emerald colored car. I dubbed it the Green Hornet. The name proved to be more prophetic than I wanted it to be, for indeed it stung me. It had an assortment of mechanical problems, and eventually the seals all degraded, causing the car to leak through every possible crevice. I never should have bought the Green Hornet. But for all its mechanical malfunctions, it wasn't the Green Hornet's unreliability that plagued me most. It was the odor. When I first test drove that Green Hornet, it smelled like smoke and I was gonna rule it out. But the salesman assured me repeatedly, they can get the smoke smell out, I promise, and I fell for it. And indeed, on the bright sunny day that I picked up the car after purchasing it, the interior smelled reasonably fresh. But what I found over time was that the smell was deep down. The deodorizer hadn't reached the carpet padding and the nooks and the crannies. The odor wasn't bad on a fresh spring day. Yeah, sometimes I'd almost forget that I hated the car. <laughs> but in the winter, on a gray February day, when the air was heavy and damp and cold, the old green hornet still smelled like smoke. I've often felt like my soul's too much like that smelly old green hornet. You ever feel like that? The inward aroma of my thought life seems pretty clean on a bright, clear day. But on the gray days, the damp, cloud-covered seasons of life, when things aren't going so well and the spiritual battle's a little more intense, I don't know, something still reeks of sin and shame. That's why I love the story of Daniel's three friends who emerged so miraculously from Nebuchadnezzar's fiery furnace. And the text tells us that Shadrach and Meshach and Abednego came out of the fire. And after all the satraps and the counselors and everybody came around and saw that the fire had not any power over their bodies of those men, the text said not the hair of their head was singed and their cloaks were not harmed and no smell of fire had come upon them. They not only survived, but they came forth without the smell of smoke. That's what you are to God, saved from the fire and saved from the lingering smoke of yesterday's shame. In other words, you're not only forgiven, you're also reckoned as totally clean. And that's the gospel. Well, that's today's good news, and you can get more like it by clicking right here. Or better yet, if you haven't ever done so, be sure and subscribe to this channel and start out every day with good news.